Hi everybody, I'm Jaden. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. And we are the Yahoo and Tour YouTube channel. And we are the Three Amigos and we are sitting here hanging with you guys and we truly appreciate your time. And as you can see from the video that we uploaded a little bit before that, we were having some struggles with a little bit of fire and so there's no fire, there's no breakfast. And so, um, boys, did you get breakfast? Yes. Finally, we did. Yes. Are you happy? Why yes, don't we get yes. up to the mics? I'm here. Oh. The mic. Yeah, so how was it? Please stop popping your knuckles on the camera from the video <laughs> here. Okay, so how was it? How was breakfast? Breakfast was good. What did you guys have? Pancakes. Pancakes. And it took a little bit. You guys were uh, out there a little weepy with the fire. You guys no. get a little upset. Nobody, no. Nobody's weepy? <laughs> no, it's not weepy. It's like a smoke in my eyes. It makes my eyes water. <laughs> oh, I thought you were weeping. Uh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, how are you, everyone else? How's everyone else out there? We appreciate you guys sitting down with us. Um, we're sitting at our little tiny three-foot table. And um, Nicole and Eli are tending to fires and trying to keep this going because if we are unable to keep our fire going, then we are unable to make dog food, and then the dogs get really crazy, and they want to tear us up. So we don't want them to tear us up. We don't want them to be hungry. And Not so, really tear us up, but, like, tear each other up. Yeah, they get like, real frustrated, but it usually ends up tearing us up because we have to break them up, and in the middle of us breaking them up, they tear us up. But they don't mean to. They, uh, they're they just trying to tear up their friends, their other dogs, their hair, haired friends. <laughs> kind and, of like a statement is that they don't mean to. They're just trying to tear up their friends. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing is, is these dogs will go from – um, like super good friends and you know, they'll lay next to each other, coddle into each other. And then when they go crazy, they want to kill each other. Like there's moments of them really trying to kill each other. And uh, those are pretty scary moments. Those are pretty wild moments. And um, we try to do the best we can of doing that. Okay, so how are you guys? Everyone good? Okay, good? I need a drum roll because we are in a new book. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was excellent. I think we were a little it. off each other. Yeah, and my, um, my teacup was sitting here going crazy too. So <laughs> we are actually in the book of numbers. And so I'm going to try to do this and pronunciate this the best that I can. Nicole's at the table. Hi, Nicole. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You got smoke in your eyes? Are you weeping too? Nope, I'm good. You doing all right? Yep. Got your little gla glasses on? I got my glasses. Yep. We need the handy dandy split screen. Oh, that's what I was going to say. We need the handy dandy split screen. All right, can we get our drum roll for the handy dandy split screen? And we made it. So there we are. All right. So thank you guys very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, may Yah bless this message and may it be received um, with blessings to all you guys. Much love. All right. And Yahuwah has spoken to Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the assembly, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Mitzrayim, saying... So this is a full year after they went out of Egypt. This is a full year after they made it to Mount Sinai and got their commands. It's been a full year. Oh, yeah. So that, that is interesting to note they've as been well. Just, they've been living there an entire year. They've been through all of that. They built a tabernacle. Everything was done in a single year. Yeah, so what I what I see very interesting is first, Yah goes and saves his people, right? First of all, they're, they're all slaves. He saves them. He brings them out. Then he gives them his laws, statutes, and commands and gets them set up. And today is going to be really cool because he's going to divide them into armies. And so this is going to be wild. Okay. Take ye the sum of all the assembly of the children of Yashrael after their families, by their house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Okay. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Yashrael, you and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And with you, there shall be a man of every tribe. Everyone head of the house of their fathers. Okay, so what do we have right now? This is uh, in, in North America. Um, they can drag you off to war at 18 years old. Um, in fact, you're, it, it's illegal. You guys are supposed to sign up to some uh, selective service. By the time you're 18, it's, it's illegal in the States. If you guys were in the States, if you had not signed up for selective service, they could drag you away to jail. Now, what? Yeah, so selective service is... Um, it, you have to register before you're 18 so they know who is out there so that they can, if they draft, they will pull you in. Is that still in effect? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it is. I've never heard of that, but it was, I, I don't know, but maybe they just don't sell my soul. You don't sell your, well, I don't know if you're selling your soul, but you're definitely, um, losing a piece of your heart and your mind because they'll drag you off to fight every war. And if you guys didn't know, I, I know a lot of you guys are from North America, but for those who are outside of North America, um, North America was the hammer of the world, right? There is no other military power. There was no other military power greater than the North American military power up until about 2020 uh, something. And um, then they all grabbed Cobra Commander by the hand and they uh, they all took snake bites to the face. And now they're um, they're weak. 
And so it's just a matter of time before they get completely annihilated. And so um, they were the greatest military, right? They had they spent more money on their military in North America than every country combined. There was more money, trillions of dollars a year was to make the military. And that's what they call the military industrial complex. And the more the, the thing about the military industrial complex is they don't make money unless they're going to war. And so if they're not going to war, then they have all these bombers and all these bombs and all this crazy stuff that they use all across the world. And they go across the world and they spread freedom. Right. That was the big thing. When I was when I was young and Nicole and I were young before you guys were ever even born, they went across the world and spread freedom. That was what they said. And they banned everybody in France. They banned everybody because the French were not standing up to go to war with them. There are a lot of countries that didn't stand up for war. And we were spun propaganda and we were spun um, very evil stuff. We didn't know. We, we had no idea what was going on. And if you watch the news, like the mainstream media news, it's all lies. It's all programming. If it's on TV, it's a complete lie. And until you dis, uh, deprogram yourself from that um, stuff, you wouldn't know. But, you know, over the years, we saw what we did when we marched into Afghanistan, when we marched into Iraq, when we marched into every uh, Sudan. Um, we, we took out, uh, what was it? It wasn't, it was, it wasn't Saudi Arabia. It was um, Syria. Syria. We, I mean, we, we've gone and now China's calling it them out. And they said North America went and poached everything in Syria. They went and they, they basically looted them like a whole bunch of pirates. So um, it is unfortunate and it is not. Our hometown people. It is not the people of the United States, but it is all the the leaders and every all this all the demons that have gotten in full control. And all they want to do is they want to go to war and they want to go to war and go to war. Why are you looking at me like that, Nicole? What's going on? Am, am I on my soapbox? Yes. Okay, I need to get off my soapbox. But anyway, that is that is a, a problem. So anyway, these are going. Did I get on soapbox? Someone no. let me know before I get off the soapbox. That was good. For, there's a lot of people that don't know this. If you're from North America, you probably still don't know this kind of stuff. Get back to the Bible. Back to the Bible, she says. Okay, verse five. <laughs> and these are the names of the men that shall stand with you of the tribe of Reuben, Elitzior, the son of Shedior, of Shimon, Shalumia. Uh, the son of Sur, Suri Shaddai. And how do I say that? Suri Shaddai. Are we going to be the butchers on this one today? Yeah. Yeah, we're totally butchering this. Of Yahuda, Naksan, the son of Amniadav. Of Yisakar, Nathaniel, the son of Zuar. Of Zebulun, Eliav, the son of Kel, Kelon. Kelon, how do you say that? Kelon. 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 Of the children of Yosef, of Ephraim. Elias Shama, the son of Amnihad, of Menasha, Gamiliel, the son of Pedit, sure, I'm totally slaughtering these, I'm sure, I'm giving it all I got, of Benjamin, Avidan, the son of Gideoni, that's our dog, Gideoni, <laughs> yeah, Gideoni, we call him Gideoni, his name's Gideon, but we do call him Gideoni, all right, of Dan, Akia Izor, the son of Amia Shaddai, of Asher, Peggy El, the son of Okren, of Gad, Eliasaf, the son of Duul, of Naphtali, Akira, the son of Elinan. These were the renowned, uh, renowned, reowned, renowned of the assembly princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands in Yashrael. So who, those pro, those guys right there were probably the men, right? Those guys were probably, Yah would not have chosen these people because Yah went and said, I need these people to stand up in their in their people and, and do this. So basically so, lead their tribe. Yeah, lead their tribe. And Moshe and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the assembly together on the first day of the second month and declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Mine says ancestry by clan, not pedigree. It's pedigree, same, same thing. So if you're, if you're looking at a dog's pedigree, if you'll want to know what the pedigree the is. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not just a dog food. It is, a, it is the lineage of the dogs. And so you would, you would want to see if it has a good pedigree or not. And so, it's not a dog food brand. Yes, yeah, just not a dog food brand. As Yahuwah commanded Moshe, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai, and the children of Reuven, Yashrael's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. So, what would that take? I mean, that would basically be. I mean, even at sixty years old, you could probably go to war. 
And back in the day, they were definitely a lot healthier. They were yeah, definitely more definitely. agile, probably a lot stronger. Yeah, no GMO food. They all ate cling. I mean, they were skies probably... Skies weren't polluted. Yeah, skies weren't polluted. They didn't have the uh, people up there. Nicole's like, oh, don't get into these conspiracy <laughs> theories here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. don't don't hurt the people don't hurt the people um well for those who don't know i mean and a lot of people you know we didn't know that but we have some we have some family over in south africa and they had never heard of kim trails they'd never ever heard well, i think the parents had but they didn't tell the kids maybe they just kept the yeah kids. well for those who do not know this has been going on for like 25 years they literally spray your skies with aluminum barium sulfur all sorts of stuff longer than that yeah longer than that and so um they've been doing it forever and so they it's very unhealthy what they're doing and they're they're blocking out the sun and doing very evil stuff and uh it's just satan's tribe all right uh those that were numbered of them even of the tribe of reuben were 40 and six thousand and five hundred of the children of shimeon by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered of them according to the number of the names by their poles, every male from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Shimeon, were 50 and 9,300. So we have 59,300 from so one tribe. 13,000 more than Reuben. No wonder why they had so much more than Reuben. Yeah, so did I give Reuben's? Yeah, yeah 46,500. 46,500 46, in Reuben, and then we had... 59,000. Yeah, 59,000 right there. Um, of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Gad, were 40 and 5,650. So 45,650. If you look at these tribes, these are just people who can go to war. This is the women, the children. This is just the people who can go to war. And these right, tribes. or the slaves. They did not have any of the slaves. Or the people, that, not the slaves, but the people that came out with them. Mm. Okay, of the children of Yahuda, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Yahuda, were three score and 14,600. So 74,600. Yeah, 74,000. So Yahuda is the biggest one yeah, so far, right? Yeah, way yeah, bigger yeah. than the other tribes. Yeah, and so these are, this is actually, a, it's not a huge amount of people. I mean, there are, there's a lot, but there's, I mean, they're, they're about to go to war here. Okay, of the children of Yisachar, by their generations, after their family, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered to them, even of the tribe of Yisachar, were 50 and 4,000 and 400. Of the children of Zebulun, by their generations, according their, after, excuse me, of the children of Zebulun, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were num those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Zebulun, were 50 and 7,400. So 57,400. Of the children of Yosef, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their families, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,500. Of the children of Manasseh, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. And I want to mention here that, like, these are just a lot of people. How you wouldn't get this many people in 400 years unless you had multiple wives. Um, yeah, mul yeah this is 400 years, honestly, isn't that big of a span. You maybe have, like... 15 generations of people. Yeah, yeah. The, and it's I see not exactly a lot of you. people. And they, they only brought down, like, what, less than 100 people down to Down to Israel. Egypt. So for that multiply, they would have to have... 70, wasn't it? Yeah, they had, like, like 76, I think. 72 or 76. Yeah, so they definitely expanded out. So that's a good point, Kate. Okay. Um, did we get this? 32,200? Yeah, 35. 35? Oh. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, were 30, 30 and 2,200. So 32,200. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were 30 and 5,000 and 400. Of the children of Dan, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. 
Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Dan, were three score and two thousand and seven hundred. So Dan has more. Yeah, he has the third biggest. So if we do, if we combine Manasseh and uh, Ephraim for the tribe of Joseph, they have the second most score. Mm-hmm. Of the children of Asher, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. So forty-one five. Of the children of Naphtali, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Now, it was, were they all fast? Were these the fast guys? Yeah, Naphtali was the guy. Naphtali was fast, but dude, this is all his tribe fast. I don't know, it, might be, it might be genetic, so maybe. Maybe. The, these are those that were numbered, which Moshe and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Yashrael being twelve men. Each one was for the house of their fathers. So were all those that were numbered of the children of Yashrael by the house of their fathers from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth the war in Yashrael. Even all they that were numbered were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. That's so six hundred three thousand five hundred and fifty. Yes, that's better. Thank you. So, so we're talking like six hundred thousand people army. Um, that's that's a close to a million, but not so close. So. Yeah, but you're talking if you're talking looking at North America and looking at Millions. China. Yeah, they have they have. I mean, they have not just one. They have army, marines, navy, air force, uh, all these other. I mean, every one of them have Jesus, well, put, here, millions um, of people in it. We'll go throughout the stories of the Bible later on. Throughout, if we continue on after uh, the, we finish uh, Numbers Deuteronomy, but nobody really died unless they sinned. Nobody in the army died unless they had sinned and they all got smoted. Yeah. When they all lived, so they're all every time they were triumphant, so it didn't matter how small they were, they were always winning and they know they never lost a single soul. Yep. But the Levium, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. So no Levites. No Levites were in this in the war. They're not the warriors, they're yep. the priests. For Yahuwah had said unto Moshe, saying, However, you'd probably want the Levium in there, right? I mean, those guys are the knife guys. I mean, if you want to like I don't if know. you want some blood baths, those guys they're are the meant killers. to be they were meant to be holy and meant to be clean, so them killing people and getting blown them probably yeah, wasn't you'd... something that Yah was gonna really enjoy. That's true. All right, for Yahuwah had spoken unto Moshe, saying, Only you shall not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Yashrael. But you shall appoint the Levium over the tabernacle of testimony and over the vessels thereof and over all things that belong to it. They shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof and they shall minister unto it and shall encamp around about the tabernacle. So that's interesting. And when the tabernacle says forward, the Levium shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levium shall set it up. And the stranger that comes nigh shall be put to death. Okay. And the children of Yashrael so pitch their tents, every man by his own camp and every man by his own standard throughout their hosts. But the Levium shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony and there shall be no wrath upon the assembly of the children of Yashrael and the Levium shall guard the watch of the tabernacle of testimony and the children of Yashrael did according to all that Yahuwah commanded Moshe. So did they. So the Levites did not camp with their family members like the rest of them did. They all camped under the, because uh, it said, mine says here they camped around their banner, so they might have each had their own like flag or symbol or something. I but the Mishkin was their symbol because that was their inheritance. So they uh, they stayed around the, the temple instead of staying around the rest of the tribes. I think we get later chapter, maybe in Numbers Deuteronomy, but it talks about how each one, like three on each side of the tabernacle. Like Judah was the leader of three tribes, and there's another other few tribes on each side of the tabernacle. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, that's it. That takes us out of the very first book of this, or first chapter of this book. And uh, I guess that is it. I guess there's nothing exciting. There's no new commandments. Um, I did before I, something I wanted to bring up real quick is um, I got to undo the handy dandy split screen. And I want to, um, this is, these are the full laws of Yahoo right here. And I added at the top revision one and revision two. And when we post this live to everybody, um, people should keep note of the revision. If we end up 
changing a, a commandment number somewhere in the middle of here, then we will add a revision at the top and, and basically say revision two. So revision two is for Leviticus five stuff for, from yesterday. And so that way you guys will know that once we have this list, if we, if we find something later on or we figure something out, then we'll just add the revision and then renumber stuff. And then that way you guys are, you know, you think that one commandment is something and it's not and you get confused. So we'll just keep adding the revisions there and then we will get this posted up pretty quick um, that everybody can kind of either follow along with us or at least have what we have so far. And um, I don't know how many commandments we're going to find in the book of numbers. I do know that there are a tremendous amount of, uh, oh, we do know about Zizi. So Zizi's, yep. Zizi's come in numbers. So, one of my favorite commands. Yeah, this is a super good command. And uh, yes, I guess Core is, Core is not happy about that one, but uh, this is the way it is. So, um, any advice to anybody? Anything that you guys have? Uh, read your Bibles. Um, we'll be out with uh, Espanol oh, Youth for Y'all. Right. So. Yeah, Youth for Y'all today in, in Spanish. Uh, we'll be premiering it at 6 o'clock. And, um, you know, it, it's we don't have a huge uh, viewing population of the Spanish folks, but if you guys know anybody that is in Spanish, we are going to go over this and we are going to get more in. As we get these commands fleshed out, we are going to get these over into Espanol so that everybody can see these things. So they, they should be for every every nation. They should be for everybody that we know exactly what the commands of Yah are. All right, everybody, um, let's get to work. We have a lot of stuff to do today. So much love to our family out there. Big hugs. And we thank you guys for hanging out. All right. All right shalom. shalom.